Sports Writer, Sports Writer Association of Thailand, Fight of the Year Award winner, uh, two years, two years, not consecutively. One was in 1999, I believe. Yeah, one was in 1999, <laughs> and the other one was uh, somewhere around mid-2000s. I can't remember now. <laughs> Either way, it's, a, it's an incredible achievement since only three other fighters have won, won that twice before, or <laughs> one fighter more than twice. 68 kilograms this fight will be taking place at. At the age of 42, it's amazing how Sanchez managed to maintain such a high level of Muay Thai. I started Thai fight seven, almost, what, no, seven years ago. And I was thinking to myself, well, it won't be long now until, Thai, until Sanchai retires. In fact, <laughs> seven years later, he's fact, still competing. Sanchai made his Thai fight debut in Vietnam. Oh, they, ah, <laughs> lovely twist of the tail. So maybe Nguyen, in fact, saw him in that event. Now fighting against him in the ring here tonight. Was that against Craig Dixon? I think it was, you know. I'm not sure, I can't remember. Useless knowledge. Uh, left hand there coming in by San Chai. I just remember a lot of Isan dancing involved. <laughs> <laughs> and he was fighting Ka Chirk back in them days as well. Before he decided to switch from the gloves. That's right. Yin from Vietnam is part of the Vietnamese national Muay Thai team, in fact. Who are training right here in Thailand now at uh, Satian Muay Thai Gym. But a lot of fighters. Including Sayok. Yeah, and Sayok's there too. <laughs> For those that don't know, um, it's in Yen's corner, in fact, it's Sayok Pupapo, who just won uh, earlier tonight by KO in the second round. Nice left kick to the body there from Senchai. And then a straight left hand, then a straight left kick. Swinging overhand windmill strike there, attempted by Senchai. <laughs> it, was, it was a beautiful hook, I, I suppose you call it. A nice dodge from Senchai. Of the wife of Sanchai, you're sitting here inside. Left hand over the top there. Sanchai on fire here. Axe kick coming in. Just connected to the nose there of the Vietnamese fighter. It's absolutely beautiful how he connected with that axe kick as well. I mean, it's a kick that a lot of people just don't connect it with, but almost every single fight we've seen Sanchai, he does connect with it. Beautiful kick to the midsection once again for Sanchai. He goes in attempts with that left hand again, but Win just able to close that distance. Tempted knee there. Oh, nice left hand to the body there by Sanchai, but Win, he's trying to counter that strike with a right elbow. Keep your eye on that one. Perhaps he is making the, the mistake of fighting Sanchai's game. Sanchai, of course, one of the most technical fighters of all time. And he may be falling into the trap, fighting at Sanchai's pace. And probably, what does he get spoken enough about is Sanchai's probably one of the most unorthodox Muay Thai fighters of all time as well. Yes. The strikes that he's throw are just so unique to him. I've just never seen anyone else that fight the same style. Like, how do you prepare for a style like Sanchai's? End of round one. Stay with us. The GOAT is here. Take a look at the handiwork and the legwork and the kickback of Sanchai. Speaking of unorthodox strikes, the overhand left windmill. Decided to go to the body and found a lot of look with that left hand, did Sanchai. Right to the midsection of the Vietnamese fighter. He's looking good in the opening round, is the GOAT. Let's see how he can perform in the second round here at your main event. That Thai fight. Gotta say, it's clear, it's clear that Sanchai won the first round. I'm, I'm not sure how can you score it any other way. And um, you gotta wonder what you can do differently in, in the second round. Goes with a low kick. Perhaps try to take away some of Sanchai's footwork. Going for another low kick once again. Sanchai though, pushing forward. I think that's, that's the tactic that he is trying to put on. Kick the, look, kick the legs of Sanchai and try to slow him down. But when has that ever worked? I'm not so sure. No, never. Good body kick there by Sanchai. Another body kick there from Sanchai. Very well done. Again, going in with those elbows is the young Vietnamese fighter. Interesting there, Sanchai uh, <laughs> cl clinching up in such a way that he, he pulls. <laughs> Yin down. Good evasion there from Sanchai. Something we've seen from him so often. And again, a good work rate coming in here 
from Nguyen. One Tuesday from here, and a push kick. Not connected very well. I've noticed every single time Sanchai tries to go for that knee, Yen tries to go for an okay. elbow yeah, of sorts. Yeah. I was noticing that when he, when Sanchai was going downstairs with the uh, with the hand as well. Sanchai back to that successful leg kick and then going in with knees. It's turning into a Moy Cow fighter at the sweet age of 42. <laughs> it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. You and Sanchai were the same class, right? <laughs> <laughs> with that kick once again, Sanchai, but still pushing forward. Take Sanchai off balance. How about that? And the, <laughs> the, same, the people in the corner of Win going crazy right now. Yeah, I mean, if I ever got to get Sanchai off his feet, I'd be celebrating oh, as well. It's true. Sanchai just trying to take him off his feet. That's that's what it, it seems like. It looked like that, didn't it? Trying to get him back. End of round two. Stay with us. Vietnamese fighter and they were very animated in the corner. They saw how good their boy did in that second round and they feel like maybe if they can nick this third round there's a chance to win the fight now. Tense moments here. It was a great first round for Sanchai. Good second round for a win. Be interesting to see if the judges decided to give it to the Vietnamese fighter but it was definitely closer. Let's see what happens in this third and final round. Mokis well, has definitely shown though, he's no pushover. Yes. <laughs> he, he could definitely go up against some of the best in Muay Thai. However, in that second round, I guess, I just can't give it another way than Sanchai. Sanchai to go for some high kicks now. Good right hand there coming in from Win. It's as if Sanchai is turning up a notch in this third round. Yeah, and we've not seen any shuffling, any cartwheel kicks, a lot of respect shown. To to win. It's not the time or the place Sanchai feels to do those sorts of things. Another nice kick there from Sanchai. Hits the Martin. Ah, oh, and again, beautiful. That Hasn't Matrix lost the beat. <laughs> I love it. Not the first time we've seen it from uh, Sanchai, not the last time we're going to see it either. It almost seems like Ian's. Trying to play the counter game with Sanchai, I don't think that's the best of ideas. He needs to try to be first to the offense. Now he's giving Sanchai way, way too much time to, to think. They're still screaming at him in that corner. They, they want him to push forward. They feel that Sanchai is at least vulnerable in this third and final round. And Win making a scrap of it. Just like that though, we need to see more of that from Win. We really do. It's worked for him just now, and why not keep at it? Don't wait for Sanchai to be, be first. Another left kick, and another left kick there from Sanchai. Be very good at countering Sanchai's knees and kicks. Right, Sanchai was holding on just a little bit there. I think Sanchai... Sanchai must think that he's done enough so far in, the, in this fight, and he wants to win the fight, isn't he? That's why he's moving back so much. We didn't see so much of Sanchai moving back in the first and second round. Very true. Third. Ian pushing forward. Another left kick to the body there. Oh, and here come the hands again of the Vietnamese fighter. You see that beautiful elbow connected there from the Vietnamese fighter. And he's going to be proud of that. It's not often you see Sanchai get hit by an elbow here on Thai Fight. And again, Vietnamese fighter pushing forward, but nothing really doing in that exchange. End of the third and final round. It will go to the judges for a decision. A great way, a great fight to end Thai fight here at Asia Teak. No matter how this fight ends, I think it's fair to say that Nguyen Duan Long has definitely put his name out there. Without a shadow of a doubt. Very good performance there from the young Vietnamese fighter, but I think ultimately Sanchai did enough to, to get the job done. Let's have a look at the highlights of the whole fight. Sanchai decided to go with the left kick to the body. That was pretty much his pathway to victory. If he does indeed get the victory, Win constantly putting the pressure on and taking it to Sanchai. Found some beautiful elbows, timed them well, including some punches as well. Counter striking Sanchai every opportunity. Like you said, Kevin, Nguyen Duan Long putting his name on the map here after a very impressive performance against the GOAT of Muay Thai. We'll go to the judges for a decision.
ำลังใจดีๆจากชาวเวียดนามยังอยู่นะฮะเขามาเชียร์มาด้วยนะชาวเวียดนามมาเต็มเลยครับสุดยอดสุดยอดเอาละครับตอนนี้นะฮะถึงเวลาประกาศผลนะครับ The f i n a l i s t ซาชัยพิเกศซาชัยมวยชัยเย่ใช่แล้วใช่แล้วยินดีด้วยกับผู้ชนะนะครับรับแรงกระจายกับผู้ที่พ่ายไปในวันนี้วันนี้ถือว่าเป็นประสบการณ์ที่ยอดเยี่ยมสำหรับทั้งคู่เลยนะฮะยอดเยี่ยมมากๆนะครับใช่แล้วนะครับแน่นอนว่าเมื่อชนะแล้วเราก็มีเงินอัดฉีดให้พิสันชัยอยู่แล้วนะแน่นอนนะครับเงินอัดฉีดเงินแน่นอนนะครับคุณเดียวเดี๋ยวกาดนี้นะครับเดี๋ยวจะมีการมอบบนเวทีนี้เลยนะครับขอเรียนเชิญนะครับท่านพลตรีกฤษพันธ์รักใคร่ครับประธานที่ปรึกษาบุรุษทีอุรุจิรวงศ์ในพระราชูปถัมภ์และเป็นผู้อำนวยการสํานักสวัสดิการการทหารกองประชาการกองทัพไทยด้วยครับเรียนเชิญครับใช่ครับโอเคนะครับรับไปเลยนะฮะพิสันชัยรับไปแล้ว 25,000 บาทต่อเสียงประเบอร์ด้วยเห็นไหมพี่สมจิตยังอิจฉาไม่ให้ผมเพิ่งใส่บ้างเหรอฮะไม่พี่สมจิตพี่สมจิตวันนี้แว่นหักอ๋อเหรออ๋อพี่สมจิตเองอ๋อเป็นคนคนยัดได้ตัวเองได้ครับเดี๋ยวตอนนี้พักกันสักครู่นึงครับโอเคแล้วจะมาปิดรายการกันนะฮะแล้วเจอกับนักกีฬาทุกๆคนเลยครับรอสักครู่ครับ